So Epic Mickey Rebrush has been announced for a couple of days now and already gameplay has been leaked. Gameplay has been leaked. God damn these leakers are quick but you know, honestly, I ain't complaining. If they want to leak some more gameplay, by all means go ahead. And yeah, thankfully the leaked gameplay actually looks pretty darn good. There's not a massive amount of it but what we're going to see in today's video is pretty substantial. But before we get to all of that, it is time to put some worries to rest. Because here we have a tweet from Epic Mickey Wiki, update from THQ, the release date and pricing have not yet been officially announced. The information on the Amazon listing is placeholder data inserted by Amazon. So in the last video, we talked about how Amazon was showing that the price of this remake is going to be $60. But it seems that the developers of the game have actually confirmed that that isn't the actual pricing, so for all the people who are complaining that $60 is a bit too much for the game, well, I guess it's not actually going to be $60, so I hope you're happy, I guess. Now, the question is, how much will the actual price of the game be? Now, personally, I think the game could go for about $40 to $50, because the game originally back in 2010 was apparently $50 at retail, so doing that again this time for a remake, which is going to be adding a lot more features, I could see that happening. Then you could have the base game be 50 then maybe have a Collector's Edition be 60 I guess that could make sense, but uh, yeah. I guess as time goes on, we see more information about the game. Uh, yeah, I guess we can judge the price of the game, and obviously it's going to get revealed too, so there's always that. Right, and one other worry that I saw people having with this game was the fact that the camera, people are a bit scared that that wasn't going to be fixed, but uh, Thankfully, as we can see right here, once again from Epic Mickey Wiki, to those who are still concerned, you can rest assured, they are fixing the camera. So we can see right here a comment from the official THQ Nordic and they're saying, yep, the camera is one of many things that is being worked on. And this is genuinely some brilliant news because a lot of people's concern with Epic Mickey on the Wii was the fact that the camera was genuinely awful. It kept going in awkward positions causing you to die repeatedly to things that weren't even your fault. So the fact that it's going to be fixed in the remake is honestly ex to be expected really but it's still great news nonetheless. But now then, it's time for the meat and potatoes of the video. The reason why you are here, the gameplay leaks. Now let's just hope this video doesn't get taken down by Disney for showing these leaks because if so, I'm going to be very sad. So uh, here's hoping. Anyways, here we have a tweet from a random user called psteven321. Hashtag Epic Mickey Rebrushed Leaks and they link this video. So that video had no audio, but obviously we can see a lot in that one little clip. So first things first, in terms of the animation for Mickey, it looks like it's going to be all the same animation from the original game, which I guess can be a good thing because it at least means they're not going to ruin him and make him even worse. And anyways, the animation for Epic Mickey was pretty good to start with, so they didn't really need to update any of the animations, so keeping them all intact here is really good. Now one thing which has changed about the game, however, is the heads-up display. In the original game, Mickey's face was 2D artwork, but now in the remake, it's now a 3D model, similar to Epic Mickey 2. Now for me personally, that isn't really the biggest issue in the world, but some people might have that as a small nitpick that they prefer the 2D artwork, but uh, I guess that is a standard preference, I guess. But then one of the new things we get to see here is the new dash move that was mentioned in some of the gameplay information before. So Mickey essentially just does a little quick zip forward and that's pretty much about it, honestly. Thankfully, the quality of this animation for this new move is on the same quality as the original game, so that's also pretty nice. It's cool seeing Mickey turn into a little blur while he zips forward a bit, that's really nice. Now just looking at Mickey dashing here, this does make me wonder how much it can actually be used for. Is it just for traversal or can it be used for combat as well possibly? Maybe you can dash into an enemy and it'll just knock them right off their feet, like the same as a spin or something? I think that could be pretty interesting. Maybe even dashing into breakable objects as well to just break them easily instead of just spinning again. I don't know, that would seem like a pretty nice thing to do. And I do wonder how much it can be spammed to cover larger distances because uh, they do spam it quite a lot in the actual gameplay league 
can you can go quite quickly. So uh, maybe it's an upgraded two where you can actually dash further than my upgrade it. That could also be pretty interesting. Maybe the fully upgraded version of this move is this Mickey zipping around in a stream of pain or something. That could be pretty sick, honestly. You just keep on going and going. Yeah, that could be awesome. Now the question is, do we have this move unlocked from the get-go, or do you have to unlock it somewhere through the game? Maybe like one of the sketches in Epic Mickey 2, or maybe even have some of the side stories give you it to make them actually worthwhile. Because a huge problem with the original Epic Mickey from what I've been hearing is that a lot of the side content doesn't really do much of anything really, so having those side stories now unlocking some new moves could be the thing to actually give them some value. But despite the way it's actually going to be handled, it's at least nice to have the move in the first place because uh, yeah, it looks very nice to use. Now the other new move we get to see in this gameplay leak is the ground pound and just like the dash the animation quality is again on point now interestingly enough about this ground pound move is that when mickey does hit the ground a shockwave of paint comes out of him now i'll ask the same question again can this move be used for combat and if so can this pain that comes out of Mickey also hit enemies, maybe? I think that could be pretty interesting. Maybe the pain could become thinner as well, depending on how you play the game. Because obviously Epic Mickey has two routes, the pain route and the thinner route. So maybe taking the thinner route of the game could turn that pain into thinner when you ground pound. And obviously that could damage enemies too. Again, that could be a pretty interesting idea. But again, it's still very nice to have another move to spice up the gameplay. Now we then get to see the menu and um, yeah, it's some pretty standard stuff here and there. You just get to see the extras, the pins that you got, some cutscenes, but one very interesting part of the menu is the costume section. We can see there are five empty slots here and the one that we have selected right now is called Pure Mickey, Mickey in its pure form. Now here's where the speculation gets very interesting. There are two ways that these costumes could go. The first way is your standard way to have costumes in any game, just having Mickey dress up as different things. Maybe taking the ones from Epic Mickey 2 or even adding some more, that could be nice. But in terms of the second way they could go, and this is probably the most interesting one, Mickey's appearance could change depending on the way you play the game. Again, talking about that paint and thinner route. Somebody in one of the replies to these tweets posted this image right here. So we have left scrapper for Mickey, obviously in his thinner route. Then the middle is obviously the wastelander, which is the basic Mickey that we have from the get-go. Then on the right with the hero Mickey with the golden gloves and yeah, basically the paint route. This could be a very interesting way to go for the costumes because obviously the more evil you get, Mickey's appearance could definitely change and just looking at the concept art once again, maybe we could see some of these make their way into the game now. For example, this rat-like Mickey could be the most evil Mickey can be in the game. Then we have this shadow dark looking Mickey. Now I don't think they're gonna go this dark but I don't know, we'll have to see right? Because if we saw like something like this in the game, that would genuinely be awesome. And now I'm not sure if this one's actually official but again, this is like a little idea that we could see in the game and then we also have this concept out of thinner mickey so uh yeah if this could actually be in the game that would actually be really really cool who knows maybe disney might have eased upon how creepy this game could have been and maybe to start accepting it now i don't know but if they did that would actually be really awesome i would love to see that i hope we can see that please but anyways, next up over here, we have the level select. Now, this is all from a beta version of the game, by the way. So I'm not sure if this level select is actually going to be in the game. But if it is, then that's just another nice thing to have. Because from what I've heard, you could actually go back to different levels in Epic Mickey. So having that be a feature now, again, nice thing to have. Now we have some screenshots of the second cutscene in the game where Mickey is in the Mad Doctor's lab. And it is mostly just of Oswald and um, it looks decent but one thing that's been popping up in every single piece of new gameplay or screenshots of Oswald is his mouth looks very strange. Like especially in this screenshot right here, like what's going on with his mouth bro? It looks nasty bro, like it doesn't look nice. Now again this is all from a beta of the game so maybe this is just early footage and they can fix it as time goes on but yeah right now that, that looks strange man, very very strange. And unfortunately this weird mouthing has also made it onto the actual box art of the game so I'm not sure if it's actually going to be fixed later on down the line so I don't know man, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. And now the last image we have right here is of the eye thing that tries to dissect Mickey and it is now a 3D model of an eye instead of just like a 2D image like it was before and uh, I mean not much to say about it really I mean it looks decent better than it was before so yeah and that is pretty much all the elite gameplay footage and new information we have on Epic Mickey Rebrushed and uh, yeah once again the red flags aren't really popping up right now it's all looking pretty promising and based on the speculation that we've been talking about in today's video things will get even better for the game so yeah I mean I hope we can get some more information soon because I'm interested to see how they're gonna take this remake how far they're gonna go with it I mean, I'm just I'm excited for it man but 
Let me know what you guys think of this gameplay leak. Does it make you more hype for the game or do you have some more worries about it? Let me know down below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed by pushing that join button down below. Remember, it's not necessary. And I will see you all next time. Peace.